Hi folks, this is Haryum for CVNR. Uh, happy to see you in another, yet another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, neurodevelopmental uh, therapy or uh, boba technique. I'm going to give you just a small glimpse, uh, not the whole thing also. Right, <clears throat> so as you may have, uh, if you have tried to read uh, NDT from a book, or uh, go to a course and things like that. Um, there will be a lot of this and that. So I'm going to uh, strip it all and try to see what's inside the onion, right? So the uh, first thing you want you want to remember is um, uh, if you are if you are reading about um, NDT or Bobat, uh, these are the two people who started that. Uh, one is, uh, both of them are the Bobats, the Karl Bobat, and he was, she was the uh, physiotherapist, right? So what was their idea in the early stages of 60s and the late 70s was that the nervous system, after an injury, right, especially in case of cerebral palsy and things like that, it becomes excited, right? It is very excitatory. That's why you have spasm and things like that. And the whole system is sort of being pushed upwards. So what she was thinking was inhibit the system and then we will do normal movement on that, right? And later on in the 80s and uh, probably in the late 80s, she started realizing that it is not just uh, inhibition, you also need to uh, do excitation, that is facilitate the movement, right? That's why in the uh, later part of uh, what you mean by NDT, what she wrote was that she stopped uh, teaching about the reflex innovative postures, uh, what you will be taught in your school. Um, those things, she herself said that those things don't work. So she started doing more of facilitatory work or she tried to uh, talk about more of uh, facilitatory work, right? So uh, now they have, after her death, um, because they, Time has changed and everything changes. Uh, so uh, there are a bunch of people who don't didn't want to uh, lose uh, making money from the brand NDT, which she created uh, with uh, so much of hand. So they came up with uh, the idea that NDT is a problem solving and an assessment approach. And I was like, what science is not problem solving? I don't know. Who came up with this uh, nonsensical idea? And uh, if you read the uh, definition, if you will, I don't know why they have need a definition. And it is a holistic in the... Uh, God, I feel sleepy when I try to read this. Uh, why I find this uh, repulsive and nonsensical is, again, because this is not an NDT... Uh, this is not an NDT definition. This is a definition of neuro rehabilitation, right? And also, uh, the NDT doesn't need definition. It needs uh, principles, right? So we will see what's a principle. Um, whatever they say, um, people might say that, no, 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 we are doing uh, task-oriented and functional movement. But uh, in the heart of the heart of NDT is trying to do a uh, normal movement, right? Uh, what they mean by normal movement, I am not very sure. They keep on saying that we want to uh, do normal movement, normal movement, normal movement. Now they will also add that as a functional movement also, but in the heart of the heart, it is normal movement. Right. So for producing this normal movement, um, in, the, in the earlier days of Bobat, she had two ideas. One was that spasticity or uh, increase in tone is stopping you from normal movement. Another one is the alignment of it. Uh, the midline alignment, they are so fascinated with uh, midline alignment, right? So these are the two ideas they were focused on. As I told you in the later part of it, as a lot of people started uh, researching and started saying that spasticity is not a big issue, they have left out that idea, but they have not left out from their heart. But they have not left out the idea of um, having an alignment. One person told me that I know how to make that patient sit. And I was like, but the patient is already sitting. What are you talking about? He, then he went and um, he, he was sitting like this, right? Because he was sitting, he was not a patient. He was just a, a 
the other participants in our uh, workshop, right? So he was sitting like this, and he went and he made him do this, right? And made him sit straight and said, "See, now he is uh, sitting properly." And I was like, "All right, right." So this idea came from engineering that we have to be aligned and things like that. Um, so that is the uh, basic idea. The patient should be aligned and things like that. So what do they do for that? Is um, uh, it's called as uh, handling, right? It's a sorry for this, but it's a sort of a childish name for where you have to hold the patient, right? Uh, where you have to hold the patient in such a way that the alignment is not changed or the movement is facilitated, all these jargons. I'll tell you what these jargons mean also, right? I'll just show you some uh, screen grab I had of um, various uh, handling from different go back uh, places. Because remember, NDTA is not the, just the association. There are uh, hundreds of people who are teaching uh, um, NDT now. So it's not one thing. Uh, you can see that they are uh, holding here. They will say that this capilla is uh, some sort of key point. They are uh, holding here and probably giving pressure downwards. Uh, holding here, uh, holding here on the pelvis. Uh, don't know what sort of circus is this. So all these things are basically in case of exercise therapy, because exercise therapy is physiotherapy, these are all active assisted movements. And basically what they are telling you is, you have to hold them in this position and maintain an alignment, which they think is important. That's what uh, handling is, right? And the next thing is they will tell you that there are certain key points and blah, 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 blah. Uh, don't care. Uh, Again, a nonsensical, uh, nonsensical word, and uh, you cannot uh, make up words whenever you want. So, what do I? What do they mean by key points? Anyway, is again, we have to hold and how to give assistance. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, if they are saying that no, 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 it is something more than that. Exercise therapy consists of active exercise, uh, passive exercise, active escalator exercise. It cannot be beyond that. So don't worry about those things. Now, the uh, as I told you, in the as the time moved, uh, we also found out that uh, it's not just the uh, um, the, the 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 impairment level exercise which they were giving uh, were not useful. So they said, no, 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 no. We are doing uh, task oriented functional movement, and then they will say that the starting question is. Uh, lying on the uh, uh, sitting on a cis ball and uh, uh, lying on a mat and things like that. And I am like, how is that the functional movement? This is what happens if you don't read definition. This is what happens if you are basically lazy. Also, right? So I also see that a lot of people say that trunk alignment uh, exercise, they will teach you hands-on how to keep your trunk in alignment, right? How is that functional or task-oriented? Uh, I have a limited capacity of understanding. My brain is not that bad, so I can understand what these neurons are uh, talking about. So this is what I say. Are you kidding me if they are saying that uh, whether uh, this is a functional movement, that is, what about this functional movement? So pray tell me what is NDT. So NDT in two words is, uh, it's assisted movement, right? Active assisted movement. Uh, mostly they try to be active assisted. I'm not denying that. And also uh, remember, they have unusual uh, starting questions like lying and a lot of activities on crawling, uh, like bearing on the arms and things like that. So I find it, uh, uh, fetish uh, to say the least and so i call it as unusual starting positions they have it in unusual starting positions i don't have no doubt about that uh, also a lot of exercise are in the mat i don't know why they are still giving exercise in the mat just because they have bought it i don't know right and also the most important thing you want to remember is it doesn't work it doesn't work in cerebral palsy it doesn't work in uh, stroke so the whole idea is don't worry if you don't understand NDT. It's a thing of the past to be in the museum. 
sorry i told you it will be in 8 minutes but it took me 10 minutes thank you bye bye